So, I'm probably more excited to make this video than I've ever been for any other video ever. I'm going to explain why in this video, why this is important. But for now, enjoy the Battlefield gameplay. I unfortunately do not have any Unreal footage to show you guys. But I am here to talk about the Unreal franchise, the, I guess, the unnamed Unreal tournament that's going to be coming out in maybe late 2014, more realistically 2015. I want to give you guys a little bit of information on it and why I think it's going to help save FPS. A lot of people are kind of drawn down. It's kind of been drug out, just like, oh, Battlefield's the same title, COD's the same thing every year. There's little limits to push to innovate anymore. I truly think innovation doesn't need to be extreme. You don't need massive amounts of customization. You don't need massive amounts of flair and flash and added new features to every game to make a game great. Think about the classics. Think about the games that used to be... Think, think about your favorite franchises, the current running franchises that are still modern and run. You got the popular ones with Battlefield and COD. To this day, COD 4, to me, was the best COD ever made. To me, Battle, Battlefield Bad Company 2 was the best Battlefield ever made. And a lot of people agree with me. And the people that don't agree with me will not argue the fact that they are some of the best made games ever made. May not be their favorite, but they can't say that it's not one of the best made. That's what I'm talking about. You know why those games were made? You know why those games are successful and still compared to one of the best created in their franchise or in the generation period? It's because they were simple. Limited customization. You didn't need crazy um, massive amounts of kill streaks. Everybody had the same three streaks in COD 4. Everyone had the same guns and just one or two attachments to add to it. Same thing with Bad Company 2. There weren't massive amounts of attachments or equipment to use. You know why it was appreciated? Because it was just skill. It was you, the gun, and somebody's face. <laughs> Mathematically, that seems to work to me. You don't need super crazy innovative flash and flare, and you don't need that anymore. That's, that's what we've been dealing with. That's what we expect out of games now. I think the way to save FPS is to go back to the roots. You know how people talk about fads and say the yo-yo comes back every 10 years and everything like that? I think that can actually happen with gaming. So the reason I'm excited about this Unreal launch is because not only is this my favorite franchise of all time, in case you did not know that, I started gaming, multiplayer gaming on Unreal, the original Unreal back in, what, 99? 15 years ago, guys. I started playing competitive multiplayer FPS, and it was on the Unreal series. I did Instagib, so I didn't deal with the standard, you know, rocket launcher, flat cannon, none of that stuff. I did play it, but it wasn't, like, very skillful at it. It was Instagib where I, where I blew up and where I, I played it competitively. But this franchise is one of the most impacting ones on the gaming industry. It's just one of those pillars in, in the community. The ones that other games inspired to be and got their motivation and their ideas from. Unreal is one of those games. Like the similar Perfect Dark games. Like the Bond games on 64. Doom. Halo. One of the few games that paved the way for all the modern FPSs. The games that these other FPSs based their games off of and got their inspiration from. Unreal was one of those. Not to mention its engine. So many games nowadays are created on this. Popular games, Borderlands, so on and so forth. The Unreal Engine is extremely easy to use. I used to use it. I used to build maps when I was like 10, 12 years old, man. It's an incredibly easy and convenient one to use. I mean, to perfect it, it takes a little bit of time. But if a 13-year-old can do it, it was exciting. Now, why this is important to me? For one, I think it has a chance to change the way things work. And again, another feature of it is it's an arena shooter. You don't really have those anymore. If you guys don't know what arena shooters are, you just need to look up some footage of Unreal Tournament, Quake, so on and so forth, those kind of things. They're simple, small areas. It's all about the kills, communication, working, and, and outplaying the other person. It's not about flash, flare, super crazy things like this. This is when Team Deathmatch and King of the Hill, these things were prime. These are, were really, really good. They capture the flag was an extremely good objective game type. It wasn't overshadowed by uh, tons of special effects added in and crazy amounts of equipment and kill streaks. That stuff is just, I think, polluted what FPS gaming is. And the fact that one of these is coming back is the best news that I've heard for gaming in the last 10 years. It's extremely exciting. So, in my opinion, the best way to go forward is to actually go backward. And I don't know, it seems kind of weird for me to say that, but I'm extremely excited about this because I actually have faith that this is going to change the way things work. If they were able to reboot Perfect Dark and Bond and make those, those were the best gaming experiences I've ever had in my life. You remember before multiplayer and online was a big thing and you could play Halo with your buddies over, over the summer break when you were in school and it would just be you four playing each other, screen peeking and shit? Those were the best multiplayer experiences I've ever had in my life. You didn't need 64 man servers. You needed four dudes, a box of pizza, and a two liter of Mountain Dew, and you'll have some smiles and a couple rage moments and screen peek rages, but it was awesome. That's when gaming was fun. It's lost its taste. It's lost its potency. And why this one's exciting is because it's going to be a collaboration with the community. The Unreal community has always been a dominant one. It's always been a strong one. It's always been a supportive one. This game is going to be a free game. 
the next Unreal Unnamed series is going to be free. Not free to play, but actually free. You can all have it. You can even go along with it. They're actually collaborating so well with the community that they're releasing all the information to you guys. And the, and the creation starts now. It's not like they're leaking the information eight months in. They're able to do alpha, beta. This game is just now starting. It's just now opening the doors, just now booting up. So we're expecting another six to eight months, my guess, until it's a playable version, hopefully by the end of the year. But they're even going to be doing live streams on their Twitch, showing off how it's progressing. They're going to show its flaws and all this thing. It's not going to hide its alpha. They're going to show us, the public, everything. So we can interact, help improve it ourselves. The community gets to build the game. I mean, you don't get that. Imagine, I mean, because everything's become about making money now. The fact that they're going backwards for the community, for the gaming industry itself, is impressive. And I, and I applaud them for that. Everything, that's, that's the reason why you don't have, you know, map editors and stuff like that in the games anymore. I remember loving to, to play custom... People built, community built maps and everything like that. Many games don't do that nowadays anymore. And they don't do that because they want to be able to release them themselves and make more money on DLC. So giving the power back to the people is an impressive move. It's a bold move and I fucking love it. So why this means a lot to me is because not only are they bringing my favorite franchise back, they're bringing something. We haven't had a, a good modern arena shooter. It just, it hasn't happened. There hasn't been a good one in my opinion since Quake and, um... I, bet, I mean, the closest thing, even though the maps are a little bit larger scale on certain game types, the closest thing we've had to it would be something like TF2 uh, with, with that kind of theme. It doesn't need to be super flashy. It just needs to work, be simple, and be skillful. And I absolutely love it, and I applaud it for that. So with that being said, guys, hopefully you take some you know information from this. Hopefully you've learned a little bit about it. Understand that this game is going to be free. The only way they're going to make money is by the, the creators, the content creators themselves. People are going to be able, people like you and me, are going to be able to create maps and mods and we can sell those maps and mods if we want for, you know, a dollar, two dollars or something like that. People can buy them. And that's how epic the guys that create this are going to be able to make a little bit of money to fund this. The community is going to build this game, this entire franchise back up. And that is incredible. to me. It's just it's so impressive to me. And I'm so excited. About it. I've been waiting on this for years. So I'm excited for that. Hopefully, if you guys are too young and you never got to experience an Unreal game, you'll finally get a taste of what I consider to be the best franchise and the most impacting one on the FPS series, period. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys played it while you were younger, let me know if, if you're excited about this news. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll definitely be hovering in the, the comment section to answer any questions. I'll leave a link down below to a couple articles giving you guys some of the first news. I mean, just the first details were released just yesterday. And I wanted to share this with you guys. I generally don't talk about the hype of games. But this game, if, if I really only had to play pick one game for next year or this year... I would give up the next Battlefield title for this title. That's how impacting it is to me. I'd give up the next COD, any game, Destiny, for this game. That's how much this game means to me. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I will catch you guys on another Battlefield video tomorrow. Be sure to smack that like button. It'd be great if we could smack over 2,000 likes on this one. And I will catch you guys soon with some more information. If you guys want to see more videos like this based on games like Destiny or some other games that are coming out, I'd love to review them or give you my impressions on them. Or, uh, you know, what, what's, what to look for, what, what we know. And I'll get those out for you guys. Have a good day, guys. Enjoy your weekend.